How's it going guys welcome back to another video in this video I'm going to be taking a look at a really nice gaming mouse now before we start if you want a 15% discount on this mouse check out the link in the description which will go to the Amazon page to all, not only buy this mouse but I've also got a discount code in the description so you can go ahead and use that on the checkout now let's get into the video so I'm going to compare this to two other gaming mice or gaming mouses that I've had so the first one is obviously the 8 pound one which I've reviewed uh, previously and um, you can get that mouse which also has lights on it and it's basically the same thing as this but this one has a bit of a twist which we'll get onto later on now the other one called and that one costs eight pound this one costs 17.99 and the other one is the mad cats pro s i think and that one costs 40 pound and whatever that mouse gives you i think it's quite useless i mean you can do some modular stuff very little but you can definitely do that um, but i haven't really found the need to that is a programmable mouse um, but so is this one and so compared to the eight pound mouse this one for another 10 pound you get the programmable buttons and it's not just the two buttons at the side or whatever it's all the buttons you can change whatever you want on this and this mouse is also rgb so right now i've got it on blue um, but we can change it to whatever color you like after you download the drivers so let's go ahead and talk about uh, this mouse we'll take a good look at it okay so this over here is uh, an led and this is where the change is the color and there is the also led down here and also the uh, wheel track wheel has an led now on the left side you have the two buttons which are same as the one on the, a lot of the other mouses i've used forward and backwards by default but you can program these two and on the top over here you can see this middle button and that's used to change the dpi and if you press this it actually changes color now i've got a program to do it this way but you can customize the lighting on this as well so i can press it and they'll show you what, what sensitivity you're on sensitivity of the dpi you're on and it goes up to 5000 which is really really nice and especially if you go a 4k display uh, you want to use the high dpi to quickly move the mouse from one corner to the other and this works with that um, so red i think is the slowest um, slowest um, one of the slowest ones i've got on and that's basically it. it's basically just uh, just like the other mouses uh, but it's just got these two bones i like a lot of the other mouses that i've got um, the 40 pound one uh, uh, mad cats pro s just has another extra button so this is just missing one button off that um, so there's a there's a good comparison so let me just go ahead and jump onto the computer screen and what i'll show you is the driver now you can go ahead and get the driver from google chrome i'll just open it up and i'll show you where you get it from so it's easy smx so you go onto this website now the servers are a bit slow so uh, you're gonna it's gonna take a while to download them um, so you go over here you go into gaming mouses on sale or it's not mice i guess um, and this is how you basically download the driver um, so this is the gm787 and there's a sale on right now and as, you, as i said before you can get a 15 percent discount if you use the code in the description below if you buy from amazon so if you go down here you press download and you can go ahead and download it now it's going to come as a .rar or rar file and uh, I think I've shoved that in the bin because I've already installed it. So here it is this one down here. This basically extracts into this thing, which is the driver, and then that is this thing. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open this up. I uh, press standalone because I don't want to make an account right now. So it's found the device and it did this the first time. I didn't even have to restart it. Although I think Windows does say that I have to restart it, but I'm really bothered with that. So you I think you click on this. And then you click on settings and it shows you all the stuff so from 1000 to 5000 dpi which is nice and you've got your six buttons and rgb and stuff which is nice so you go into settings and from here you can uh, freak it's just stopped working all right sorry i had to reset the pc because it actually stopped working when i pressed on settings but i connected this mouse um this one here and we're back on track so i guess i did have to restart it um there was another op notification here so anyway so let's go ahead and jump into settings and i can finally move the mouse now because it stopped working and from here you can actually change the button layout and you can program all of them go into this in a bit you can change the performance so i can change the um dpi over here oops gone a bit too high now and it does indicate which dpi you're on so the green is the lowest over here so that's the slowest and then red is the uh, 2000 so that's what i use so green is 1000 second one the red one is um, 2000 and then you've got the led and 
programmable stuff. So over here, let's go ahead and select the um, seven color breathing. So it's just changing colors right now, and it's probably not coming out great on the camera, but that should be a bit better. So it's changing colors uh, because it's breathing the seven colors. The, and you can switch the light off. So if you don't want it because it's annoying, you just can switch it off. Change into breathing, and you can pick a certain color, and it's gonna breathe. Let's go ahead and jump on to. Or oh, you've also got the brightness level. And let's go ahead and check out dim. Honestly, I don't see much of a difference in brightness right there. Let's go ahead and check that out again. Oh yeah, it uh, it definitely gets a little bit more brighter, but whatever. We we'll leave it on bright because obviously it's better for the camera. Now let's go ahead and jump onto green down here. You have to drag the arrow down here and then boom it's green now i like it on a constant lighting because um it's easier and it's nicer and it's not distracting find it distracting actually for a funny reason and you go white as well white is really really nice now i've had it on red because the whole pc that i've got is freaking red that i want it on red because just because the motherboard has got a red light and so i've changed the whole thing into red and then this is going to be red goes along with the whole lot and i think that kind of looks nice and you've got profiles down here as well let's go ahead and uh, uh, leave this on red but i want to show you the other colors so we've got pink or magenta so this is definitely rgb you couldn't do this with either of the other mouses that or mouses or mice that i've had um including the 40 quid mad cats mouse uh, but that didn't even have any lights on it but yeah this is this one does so it's nice so you've got teal or indigo some people like to call that got green there's green you got yellow there's yellowish and then you've got red down here again we'll leave it here um let's go ahead and jump on to performance now you can change the dpi and then once you do change the dpi it actually indicates which uh, which ones you're on so blue are, i think is like 3000 so this is blue and then you can change it onto indigo which is this one so now it's on 4000 and then pink is or magenta or whatever is on 5000 and I can barely move it um, and then you've got green which is the lowest and I can move the mouse really really nice and easy it's really really smooth I do like the air isn't the smoothest mouse I've ever seen but it's very very nice to use uh, now you've got the polling rate uh, maybe it's just the read rate of the sensor uh, so it reads 1000 at uh, 1000 Hertz so that is quite fast it's definitely a gaming mouse uh, you can go ahead and use that and it'll pick up the tiny bits I don't think this is the acceleration or something um so if you put it on 125 it's a lot more kind of like pixelated movement i guess because it picks up less resolution um but let's go ahead and jump on to uh back onto green now i'm not sure if you can actually change it oh you can change the dpi on the five levels or four or five levels you've got over there i'll leave you at the default settings and if you go into the buttons and from here you can change anything you've got macro buttons as well let's go ahead and jump onto this let's make a new one or you can start the recording so let's go ahead and do this oh hang on hang on hang on stop recording um so there's the macro one we've got that let's go ahead and uh, go on to the macro so we can set the one of these two bones, I'm going to say one of the these two bones, so we've got this one. So I think what you do is press on it and then you can just press on this one. So now that is, um, yes, play only once. So you can definitely, this is definitely in the gaming zone right there. Let's go ahead and see what happens. Oh, you can hold it and then. Yep, it definitely seems to be working, but I'm not sure how you use this properly. Let's go ahead and jump back on to key commands. Uh, where the forward thing gone? Well, function. Here we go. Forward. We put that back because I. This is used for you know messing around in the browser or in the. Here, so you can go ahead and move forward and backwards, and in the browser that works. And I've been using this a lot. I've actually gotten used to this. I don't think I can use a mouse without these two functions over here, even this vertical mouse over here has that um so yeah definitely it's a really really nice mouse but let's go ahead and talk about the mouse itself now we've run run through the drivers and stuff so uh, the first things first it's a lot it's very very comfortable it's really really nice to use 
um, the second thing is programmable it's built well it's got nice build quality it's rgb so that's all the good things now the bad things and this can be debatable now i'm thinking because this is a gaming mouse they've done this on a purpose but i'm not sure so the scroll wheel has very little travel and that basically means it's almost like a touch screen i mean there is no moving up and down you can definitely press it and you can hear it and everything but uh, the feedback is almost like a touch screen and i don't like that the second thing is um these two keys are really really easy to press like i'm just resting my hand on it and all of a sudden it's got it just presses maybe i'm used to this mouse or something else uh, but i've been using this for almost a week now and i think i'm not even getting used to it or something the keys are a little too light to press they're a little bit too light to press and they're so easy now again i'm guessing this is because if you're a gamer or someone uh, which i am not um then the easier there is to press the better because you can react a lot quicker so maybe that's the reason but i, I take this as a disadvantage because to the normal users this is a bit of a annoying uh, it's a bit of an annoying thing um but you can definitely get used to it um but anyway that, those are the only two bad things the keys are just a little bit too light not these ones the, the ones on the side no problem this dpi switch we're probably not even going to switch ever um but that's no problem that's really nice and clicky and it has a really bold click it's just the left and look the left the left and the right click and the, that are just too light and then the wheel it, it has almost no trouble so you can never tell when it's actually activated and i've been having uh, it's just not enough for me to get used to but that's not a bad mouse uh, it's definitely really really nice especially for the price i mean you can either waste 40 quid on a stupid modular mouse which you're never going to use the modularity of or you can get rid of the programmability of a mouse and get one for 10 pound and the rgb -ness. and you can get the same mouse for the 10 pound except you pay another 10 so it's a bit like 20 get this and you get customizable rgb lighting and you can also get full programmability you can even change the dpi and stuff so i really really do oh it stopped working again because i went on that thing <laughs> use the other mouse um but to get this back working you press default and i think it should be working now again so i don't know that i think there's a bug in here so they might want to fix that go ahead and jump back on to the greening thing and this i didn't even change the led is back to default so let's go ahead and change that back to constant and then we're back there's just one problem with this if you press on settings it's gonna go off again so definitely have another mouse lying around if you want to do that but the first time i did it, it didn't really have any effect on it but now it is i think it's microsoft windows doing funky stuff but i'll leave the video here this is a really nice mouse to use so just a reminder make sure you get yourself a 15 percent discount on this mouse it's definitely worth it um check the link out in the description and um, if you have any questions about this mouse let me know in the comment section below and as always i'll see you guys again in another video